this is just a video to tell you a 1500 watt water heater is powered by a 12 volt magnum a thousand watts 12 volts see what's happening there the batteries can handle it because this is SLA silate acid if it was a fluid lead acid it would do it but it powers it there we go again pulling 128 amps if the batteries can only stand it withstand the from voltage drop this system can power 1500 watts continuously which is rated for a thousand watts at 12 volts or on 12 volts it's powering it right now look at it <clears throat> this is just a clear test I want to show you guys the ticket tool is running just by itself and you can see no AC on it okay no AC coming in it's powering the ticket tool it's dropping the batteries to 11.3 11 point, 11 point, uh, which is not good for the batteries but is a test I don't care much about those but it's my test batteries I just this experiment I'm doing here for everybody to see what a 12 volt uh, magnum can do so you see it's recycling the batteries are still sitting at 12.3 because of the surge you can just take it if that was lithium connected to it that was going to be a next video stay tuned for that and see how the lithium is going to execute this plan correctly without any voltage drop or it sags probably it's going to sag a little bit or maybe not but it would never go below this number but i just want to show you guys it pulls over 100 and something amps so this is just a robust and a die-hard machine. I know some of you guys out there were now wondering why is he trying to uh, destroy the machine. It's not, a it's not any destruction. It's just this is science. You have to exper experiment something for others to see or you have to ruin something for others to benefit so this is how it is it can do it my point is this machine can do it with no worries if the only the voltage can keep up with it that's the thing the voltage doesn't keep up so that's the disadvantages on AGM flood acid batteries or silate acid batteries with my experience, we just um, <clears throat> a month ago with um, with uh, uh, um, lithiums. This is what <clears throat> I've learned. Lithium can hold that voltage and do whatever it requires for, while the AGM silicate acid. Or flooded acid batteries cannot do it so now it's saying battery low and there's a red lights on the corner so guys this machine can totally do that can execute this plan as planned so what I'll say I'll give it I'll give it to Magnum with this uh a thousand watt um inverter and they've done so much work or good job so magnum if you're hearing this video or someone happened to um for this video to magnum i've put your inverter probably you guys have never done this test before maybe you've done it in the lab but not probably uh, for the public to see but 
this inverter got some big guts to do what it should do or perform in in a task like this so what I did I'm just um, trying to trigger the inverter to um, come on again with uh, like trigger it with the charge the AC side and there it is and I'm gonna shut it off again to see if it's gonna continue the process here okay so let's see shut the power again look at it. it's pulling 123 amps inverting <coughs> sorry excuse me so I just want that ticket to to get the water all ready to a boiling point then then we can maybe use that water for tea or something but this is just look at that so our the one old thing i initiate that process is to just give if it's a lithium they can hold the voltage if the voltage is there if the voltage is there this machine can execute a 1500 watts continuously oh i can hear the ticket too. it's getting there so let me initialize again the the the, the grid and see so it can hold up just initialize the, the grid again before it shut off it's going to connect okay now the grid uh, connects again just to trigger just to give um, a sense of this just an experiment guys i want you guys to see this what i can do different assimilation i can do towards electronics which other people think probably be destruction or ruining expensive machine but you gotta show what you can do or what some machines can really do so you see that i initialize the uh the grid and the water i can hear the tea kettle started running on the back so i'm gonna sh shut off the uh grid again So look at that. We pull in 123 amps. If the voltage here would have kept up, you know, hold up, this machine can pull 123 amps continuously and get our water all boil. But this guy doesn't keep up. It doesn't keep up right there. If this guy can hold into the charge, maybe 11.5 or 11.4, we will execute the one o test but the thing what i'm doing right now i'm just giving you the disadvantages and advantages of um um lithiums and sealed acid or flooded acid battery or agm which gonna be our next video are we gonna test this and you see this inverter i believe i have the faith in it that is gonna execute see that is going to execute the one old plan right here so guys this is the thing we went to fault mode we cannot complete the 100 percent water you know to get it all ready for the tea but i bet you this inverter can hold it on a lithium battery stay tuned for that love you guys all Thanks for being on my crazy testing and experiment I'm doing with this little guy here live at the JW Solo USA in Minnesota. Look at that. Look at the batteries right there. This is the one old setup. So I hope you like that. This is the grid thing. I was doing the simulation to just trigger the grid. And um, this is the device right here. And thanks for watching. Love you guys all. As always, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and more tests coming right from this channel. This is why this inverter 
that's why i bought this inverter for all these crazy tests i'm going to be doing or testing here live at a jw solo usa bye for now It's sad to say bye bye to uh, flooded acid battery or sealed acid or AGM, but I think, my opinion, I think lithium or anything gonna come after lithium is gonna be the future. Bye for now. Subscribe.